हेलो गाइस दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम बैट एट अनदर वन ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑफ मास्टर कैम मल्टी एक्सिस ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टूल पाथ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट मास्टर कैम वन ऑफ द वेरी डिफरेंट एंड स्पेशल ऑपरेशन व्हिच इज नोन एज मास्टर कैम मल्टी एक्सिस अलोंग कर्व टूल पाथ और अ प्रोजेक्ट कर्व टूल पाथ विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट कर्व जनरली वी आर यूजिंग टू क्रिएट इनग्रेविंग और projecting any kind of curve on a particular surface with the help of five axis machine so in this video we will learn each and every single parameter of project curve tool path of the five axis machine so in this we will learn from the very basic to that how we can create the tool path what are the things that needed to be modified and especially we will cover the one of the most Uh, issue. What the issues we are face, we will facing when we are creating the project curve tool path that is with the linking. So we will also cover the linking parameter and that is also important for us. So first, uh, I would like to show you all, show to all of you guys that this is a uh, basically a curve right at here. I would like to show you this is a curve and this is also a curve. I just want to hide this and move on the level one. so this is basically a curve which is already created right at here and we have to create the tool path with the reference and with the help of this particular curve so for creating a tool path first i would like to show you in a 2d or simulation the just click right at here and i choose a proper engraving tool with the help of engraving tool this is creating a tool path on this particular surface with the help of this curve so we will learn each and every single parameter so as you can see here c l a w this is writing as the defining the all the parameters right at here and now it's over turn to create this tool path as we need it so for creating this tool path first we have to go on a tool path and here we have to define the tool path which is known as the project curve so before we starting to create the tool path first we have to delete the previous one and we have to back on the f the default so we have to click on delete press the enter so now everything each and every parameter is going to become the default now to create the project curve tool path first we have to come mill multi axis and click on a project curve tool path the first thing that we have to select a tool this is we are using the tool which is known as a uh, engraving tool so we have to go and create a tool we can use the taper mill also and the engraving tool also i choose a default tool which get the 6 mm of engraving tool and after that in the next step we have to keep in the cut parameter when we are come in the cut parameter there are the multiple options first uh, cut parameter is basically hard of each tool path for the multi axis and we will learn each and every single parameter in a cut project curve so first in when we came to the cut parameter the first thing is the type how we have to control it we have to user define a particular radius particular square or a offset something like that no we have to define with the help of user define this is the most easy and simple method to create a tool path on a particular surface so first we have to uh, create a project means the curve which we have to select it just select this curve select this again select this this and this and just press okay now as you can see here we are defining or selecting the entire curve as we needed so we are selecting all the curve after that we have to came in a machining geometry machining geometry means we have to select the surface how uh, which one on which one surface our tool path have to be perform or projected so we have to select the surface this is called a machining surface if you want to give some offset in a positive or negative we can define right at here in a cutting side we have to define center left or right as we needed and the remaining all parameters are the similar to the pre similar uh, as the previous we are using and at here this is the tolerance so when we are as per the thumb rule when we are creating the first tool path for the multi axis always make sure you have to define the cut tolerance should be 0.1 so this is all the things that we have to defining at here in a project or cut pattern once we define all at the cut pattern the next things are we have to keep in a tool axis control when we are using the project curve that with the help of tool axis control that is depending on 
over machine what kind of machine we have so according to that we can choose the tool axis control for example at here i just controlling with the help of surface with the tilt and according to surface tilting the tool will be tilting and i just say okay when i just say okay so this is my tool path is created but this tool path is not a smooth or a not a proper tool path as we need it so we need to we make a multiple number of modifications right at here so now let me discuss about what are the modifications that are needed right at here we will discuss about each of these modifications so this is basically tool path is created but need a multiple number of modifications as you can see here this right at here the first modification is that each time my tool path is linked uh, at the clearance position so we have to control that one so for controlling that one we have to came in a parameter and to controlling that we have to came in a linking parameter so in this video we will learn a little bit about the linking parameter also we will not learn an each and every single parameter of linking but a little bit about the linking parameter this is a small gap we have to define is at retract to the feed plane and the large gap is the same retract to the feed plane and scale up height should be make is a uh, small gap size make is as a zero once we done this one right at here it means when my tool have to be entered and came to the exit both time it have to be uh, retract till the 10 mm only look at this is the thing we are defining that at here when my tool have to be entered with the workpiece and exit so both time tool have to be once from one pass to the second pass it have to become the retractor value should be as per the retract to the feed distance and feed distance is 10 mm we can if we want to reduce or increase this value we can reduce right from here we are defining the entry and exit 5 5 mm so what is happening there is something changes become right at here because the thing behind at here air move safety and something these parameters are going to be changed so as you can see here we have to make some chip parameters should be changed right at here so for making the change these parameter we can reduce these air move safety also so we reduce it as a 8 mm and just say okay if you want to reduce the rapid distance we can also reduce the rapid distance right at here in a rapid distance i just say 10 mm right so as you can see here we can controlling this height also so this is all about the thing how we can controlling over master cam project curve tool path so i want to repeat the things and important factors again when first we are starting to create the tool path first we have to came select uh, first we have to select the project curve which we want to machining once we select the curve we have to came in a first we have to define the tool after that we have to came in a cutting parameter we have to define the projection where what is the curve we have to select after that we have to define the machining surface area we, we have we want to cutting that one particular area and after that we have to define it. if needed we can extend we can create the containment we can uh, choose the starting point and these are all the things we can control after that we have to came in a tool axis control tool axis control that is depending on our machine what kind of machine we have according to that we can select for example here we are controlling with the help of surface with the tilt after that we came to the collision control if you want to controlling with the collision with the help of point or something like that we can defining or we can off that same thing also that is depending on us generally if you are facing issue you can just turn off all the collision control for the project or tool path and after that we have to defining the linking parameter as we need it once you learn everything about that for the project or tool path you have to keep mind in one of the important thing that is the curve which already this is the curve and that curve is all uh, not always we are defining right how we can create the curve on this surface so for creating these kind of curve on a particular this surface for that one purpose you are we are using a very special command in a master cam that is known as a project this is available in a wireframe also and this is available in a transform and this is the project curve if you want to learn more about the project command you can go and watch over the video from mastercam beginners tutorial playlist you can get the detail about how the project command can be used so i hope you learn each and everything everything about the tool path which is 
known as project curve so thank you so much for watching this video be connected and updated with us for the more videos if you want to practice the same on the same model please go and join our mastercam multi access tutorials button so you can get access of all of our multi access models for your practice so hope enjoy your day